Can you make a cocktail with beetroot and will it taste good? Stick around and find out. I got asked this question about a year ago in the first lockdown, when I was asked to come up with a cocktail using ingredients from your cupboard. After a quick look in the back of the drawer, I found some pickled beetroot. Now for today's drink, I am just using regular beetroot that I've made into a syrup, but if you want to find the cocktail using pickled beetroot, there is a link in the description below that will take you to my Instagram page to show you that recipe. If you want to find out how I made this beetroot syrup, I'm going to be posting that on my Patreon account where I'm sharing more content including live Q&As, my 3 minute Thursday series, plus competition giveaways every single month. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to join the team. If you're new around here, I dare you to click on the subscribe button and take it to the next level to switch on those notifications so you can learn a new cocktail with me every single Tuesday. Also, on today's video, I'm giving away a bottle of this foaming agent. Now, don't let size deceive you. This tiny little bottle will foam up about 100 cocktails. Foamy is essentially an egg white replacement, and just a few drops of this can make pretty much any cocktail foamy. Check out my video up there on the Smoky Whiskey Sour to find out more about how this works. To win a bottle of this foamy foaming agent, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment telling me what your favorite foamy cocktail is. And I'll be choosing a person at random to send this to. Now today's cocktail is called Beat Rude Not To. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you know it. It's a tequila-based cocktail and I'm very excited to be making it again. And I'm even more excited for this new updated recipe. Most people do have a tequila story, so feel free to share your story in the comments or smash on the like button if you feel like it's not suitable for public viewing. Right, let's get started in making this cocktail. Beat rude not to. Huh? Now you get it. Right, this is a shake and strain cocktail. We're gonna start off with our basil. Now make sure you get some nice, fresh, good basil for this drink. You really want the basil to shine through and save yourself a little piece like this. This is gonna be our garnish. So just pop that to one side and then grab your six leaves. You can get a few more in if you want to. If you feel like your basil's not strong enough, you can add a few more leaves. Just tear that up a little bit and chuck that into the Boston glass. Okay, up next, we're gonna put in our strawberry jam. Now you probably could just use fresh strawberries if you wanted to. It gives it a slightly different taste when you're using strawberry jam. Mm. And of course, every strawberry jam is different. So if you want to start off by putting in a little bit less to begin with, and then once you've shaken the cocktail up, if you want to put in some more, then you can always add more later. Okay. <sighs> now we have our tequila. <laughs> You know the words. We're gonna have two shots of that. Uh, a little bit more, because it's too good. Now, my freshly made beetroot syrup. Oh. oh, man. If you've never made beetroot syrup before, I highly recommend that you just give it a try. Because you can chuck this in some gin and tonics, you can put it in your highball cocktails, your highball drinks, just a little dash. I mean, look at the color on that and wait until you see the color of the cocktail. Right, we need some fresh lemon juice and any avid watcher of my channel will know that when you're gonna be squeezing some citrus, just give it a roll on a hard surface. Just maybe massage it a little bit. You know, nice little spa day for the lemons. Anyway. 20 mils of lemon juice, washing out the rest of that beetroot syrup. And then we are putting in some sugar syrup as well. Just 10 mils of this, which is like a quarter of a shot. All the specs will be on screen and it will be in the description below as well. Now I'm using two to one sugar syrup, which is two parts sugar, one part water. Because I want an extra bit of sweetness to go into this cocktail to really balance out all those flavors. Time to shake it up. Shake, shake, shake the Nora. Shake your body right. Mm. I'm using my Tom's Tiki Shaker. 
If you want to get your hands on one of these little bad boys, there is a link in the description below. You can use it with a Boston glass like this, or you can use it with the small part of the shaker as well. Right, you want to shake this up for about five or 10 seconds. You don't have to go too crazy just to mix everything together and dilute it down a little bit. we're gonna taste, taste it. The best part of making the cocktails. Oh. Oh, it's good. Now the original was in a short glass with like a, a, an ice sphere. We're changing it up and we're gonna put it in this tall glass. So we're gonna put in some tiny little ice cubes which I've made from my clear ice cube tray. So I want to fine strain this, um, but I don't want to fine, I don't want it too, too much of a fine strain. So although normally I'll be using this Gorky strainer, which is a fantastic strainer, it has a very, very fine strain on it. I'm going to be using just a regular fine strainer. It's a bit, it's a bit less fine. <laughs> is that right? And we're just going to pour that directly into the glass. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, have patience young Padawan and your drink will be awesome. Right, it's time to sexify this drink. Yes, sexify. So we need some crushed ice, crushed ice. And hey presto, crushed ice. We're gonna get this, let's just dust this on top. Don't be shy of your crushed ice. Get it on there, okay, bang and we can build up a nice little cap on top of the drink, like so. Yes. Now remember that basil uh, sprig? Bring it back. We are just gonna tuck that down into the side of the drink like this. A straw, because it's necessary. A nice lemon wheel. Oh! No, if cocktails could be sexy, I think we've achieved it with the beats rude not to. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Let me know. Man, the smell is amazing. The smell is so good because you can smell the basil really well and you can smell the beetroot. So already you're, you're hitting so many different levels uh, when it comes to this cocktail. I said I was excited to try this at the beginning. Well, I am. And... Yes. Like little, little basil plants dancing on your tongue. Mm. <laughs> Refreshing, earthy, not too sweet, which you might be surprised by because of the strawberry jam and the sugar syrup and the beetroot syrup, but you've got it balances so well with everything else which is going on in there. And perhaps my lemons are super lemony, but mm, mm. the peppery flavor from the basil gives it a, a slightly tiny spicy kick. Obviously the beetroot syrup is shining through. Not only does it give the color, but it gives that beetroot taste as well. Mm. And if you wanted to, you can even chuck in a little drizzle of actual beetroot juice. So it's just an explosion of flavors in your mouth. And uh, I really, really love it. I mean, mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. yes. I've said it on other videos, and I'm gonna say it on this one. I'll probably finish this one before the video is over because it's so delicious. Now, before I do finish this, I do wanna let you know that I do have a secondary channel that is all about flair bartending. So if you wanted to learn the tricks, that go with cocktail making, you can go and check that one out. There is a link up there, and I will be doing the sound effects with my mouth over there as well. And also before I go, I do wanna say a huge thank you to, <laughs> trying to get creative with that. These legends who do support me over on Patreon already, I did mention it at the beginning of the video, and these guys and girls are absorbing and having all of that content already, 
Plus, they're getting the chance to ask me anything on the live streams. They get to see all the Three Minute Thursday series and everything else that I am posting on my Patreon platform. So I do want to say a huge thank you to all of you beautiful, beautiful people. I will endeavor to continue giving you super deluxe, awesome content. And anybody else that wants to get involved and join the community, there is a link down below. Come and join us and join our team. Ha 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 ha. I am getting to the end of the video. And as promised, this will be finished. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all your continued support. And if you are new around here, don't forget to hit subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. Please, please do give this a try and let me know what you think. There is all the links in the description if you want to find out more about anything else I spoke to in today's video, including a shop where you can buy all the equipment that I was using today. But anyway, that's enough from me. I hope you enjoy. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you then. Oh, I said I'd finish it, didn't I? Always drink responsibly.